Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to the Jenkins Pipeline Authoring SIG meetup for Friday, June 12th. My name is Marky. I am one of the SIG leads. Uh, welcome everybody. We do have a code of conduct and that essentially amounts to be nice. Don't make anybody have to kick you out. With that, I am, I put a note, uh, I put a chat in the Zoom as well as in the channel to uh, give everybody the docs, link to the docs and oh no, I can't share my screen. Zoom, you fail me, you fail me. Uh, give me a second, I'll see if I can try something else. Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Zoom. Uh, give me a second to find out where I'm at here. Can everybody see my screen? Give me a thumbs up if you can. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so we will go ahead and start off the meeting talking about the first item, and that is the Pipeline Authoring SIG Roadmap. If everybody uh, saw the email that was sent out by uh, Oleg, Essentially, what we need to do is the current state of uh, our roadmap that we came, we a couple weeks ago, months ago, we came up with the uh, items and I linked a few tickets. These tickets are not very informative. They need to be better, uh, A, they need to be better drafted to support what the item is that's up for the roadmap or in some instances, items that have been referenced are items which don't really fit or it's like a bug. So we need to go through and change that. Now I've done a little bit, but there's still a lot, lot more to do. What I want to know is, is anybody willing to work with me to do that? Essentially what we need to do, I'm going to use this as a first example. We need to look at each uh, area of the roadmap and make sure that the associated ticket, uh, associated JIRA story is actually correct. Like, does it have enough information to start uh, and and whatnot? Oleg, did I cover that correctly? Uh, well, uh, one thing I would like to add is that uh, it's not really necessary to link JIRA. Actually, I would say that the majority of other roadmap items either link uh, project pages uh, or jobs. So yeah. linking Jira is a kind of quick win if you have a well-defined Jira. But my personal recommendation would be to document key projects and key initiatives uh, right on the special interest group page or maybe elsewhere uh, so that um, you have more freedom. Because editing Jira has its own limitations. Uh, yeah, and at the same time, yeah, Jira ju just gets uh, discoverable uh, on the Jira page. But uh, for example, if somebody looks for pipeline authoring seek, it will be still uh, difficult uh, for uh, those people to discover the roadmap items. I'm currently working on improving the roadmap rendering. And if somebody wants, I can show how it looks like at the moment. Uh, but uh, yeah, right now it, uh, it's still a bit difficult to search um, a roadmap uh, by seek. Okay. Does anybody want to sync with me? Uh, maybe at some point today, I'm, I'm kind of booked dealing with a, another issue with uh, blog updates. Does anybody want to sync with me maybe next week to get this done? Like we could I'm sure we could probably get this done in an hour or at least get the skeleton up and I could take the rest. What I don't want to do is have to do it all. Yeah, I can work with you. Marky. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. So for me, yeah, I did uh, my best effort. I was uh, not participating in all platform seek meetings. But yeah, I watched uh, the videos last week. Uh, I was still unable to identify what's the purpose of some stories, for example, functional testing tools, 
or unit testing tools. So just uh, for the context of SIG members, uh, yeah, there are already some functional and unit testing tools for pipeline. Um, these tools obviously have their own advantages and disadvantages, but uh, for example, for me, uh, I was unable to understand what's the goal, what the scope, what is missing from the uh, standpoint of uh, SIG members. So for me, it's not just writing the description, uh, but also uh, trying to define goals uh, for this project and comparing it with existing solutions. Okay. Because if there is existing solution, maybe if it's not well known, maybe it would be rather beneficial to document that as a roadmap item, uh, than uh, creating new tool. If you really need a new tool, uh, we need to understand uh, what's the, the purpose of that and uh, what uh, weaknesses of the existing tools it's going to address. Because otherwise, for maintenance of existing tools, um, uh, it might uh, come along as not invented here syndrome. At the same time, uh, for users, uh, they won't be able to discover the existing tools. So uh, for me, it's a major concern, and that's why I propose to either fix uh, roadmap items or to remove them. Okay. Okay, we can, uh, I can commit to working with Stephen to have this uh, completed by next meeting time. Uh, my preference would be to complete it by next Wednesday. I mean, uh, September, oh, yeah, sorry, uh, June 17th, because so this is the time of our next roadmap meeting. It seems reasonable to me to just remove them from the roadmap for now until we flesh them out. Yeah. Also, I, I think I, it's something I, where, like, maybe we just at our next authoring meeting, we spend the whole meeting really diving into one specific item and work on it there. I'm going to, based on that timeline, Oleg, uh, of needing it completed by Wednesday, I'm going to, I'm going to agree with De De Devin. That was you, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so, I'm going to agree that we, we should remove it. Yeah, for the record, uh, I don't set a uh, Wednesday as a hard requirement. But yeah, at the same time, uh, yeah, I'm uh, doing some efforts to clean up the roadmap now. And yeah, I would really appreciate uh, if it, uh, some progress is done by uh, Wednesday. If it's not possible, okay, uh, we can uh, postpone it or just comment out uh, the existing items and without really de deleting them from YAML file. But yeah, so uh, if uh, SIG members have some bandwidth, I would appreciate if we do some, uh, something about it by Wednesday. Okay, yeah. so we'll 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 get those removed. I'll, I'll I'll have that done before Wednesday. Yeah, so it's better to postpone it a bit because uh, I mean removing because uh, there is a staged pull request to roadmap which is waiting for review, and yeah, if you remove it right away, there will be a massive match conflict. So uh, we can uh, postpone uh, removal or commenting it out uh, until Tuesday. So wait, what are you what what are you needing? You want me to comment it out or remove it? It sounds like you're saying you want me to comment it out. Well, whatever works, because well, there is a git history. So personally, I do not have strong opinion. Uh, removing and commenting it out basically has the same result. Okay, I'll, I'll remove them. I think it'll be easier, and that way, when we come put them back in, when they're better to find, we're sort of work we're starting from a clean slate. Mm -hmm. Well, like you're you're I think you're referring to the the pull request that will add the preview column, right? And, was, uh, and or is that it, not the pull request you're referencing? Yeah, this, uh, this pull request, but it's a bit more than uh, preview. So oh. if you want, I can just show it uh, because I have development version of the site right now. Yeah, sure. I think it would be a real help because I love what you've done with the preview column. I think it's a great addition. Okay. 
So do you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so this is the development version of uh, the roadmap. Uh, so, and there is a pull request uh, for that. Just a second. Uh, it's here. So I forgot to rename uh, the title, but actually it does three things now. Uh, previews uh, column support, regrouping items, and also um, adding labels and filtering them. So what I've done, uh, now metadata includes some additional fields which we can use. Uh, so for example, yeah, there is labels, again, with definitions right inside, so everybody can consume them. And the uh, items now include explicit labels. So for example, we can uh, group them later, like feature, documentation, tools. And yeah, I applied uh, all my expertise with JavaScript and I implemented filtering. Uh, yeah, basically I had to Google a lot. Uh, yeah, it still looks terrible, but especially when in such cases, but it kind of works. So I will probably exclude categories where there is no labels and then it will be fine. But yeah, this is how it looks like. And later I also plan uh, to add filtering by seek or sub project so that uh, yeah, it uh, looks a bit better. Um, and for example, uh, uh, what I've done, I removed uh, service categories. For example, here we had a lot of uh, documentation categories, advocacy and outreach, uh, documentation, etc. And instead of that, now we use labels. Why it's important? Because, for example, UIUX Hardfest, it was focused on user experience. So I put it to the user experience column. And the same, for example, uh, for solution pages, for user documentation, right now it's here, administrative documentation is an administrative column. And then, for example, if somebody wants to see what's happening with documentation, you click a box and you see that, for example, documentation for features is here, for tools and services is here, etc., etc. So, yeah, that's basically what uh, I have in progress. And yeah, I can add more filters uh, later, but uh, definitely there will be a massive match conflict if you do something with uh, YAML before this pull request. Yeah, so maybe we should wait to remove it until this pull request is merged. Like, yep. you merge it, and then I should have a PR right mm -hmm. behind it to, to do the actual mm -hmm. removal of the roadmap items for yep. our... So, yeah, I will appreciate any reviews here, uh, but yeah, my target is to merge it, uh, well, at some point, maybe over the weekend, uh, and uh, yeah, after that, uh, yeah, so next Monday or Tuesday, we can uh, merge pipeline. I also have a lot of other items to it, for example, dark theme or yes, the agreed on terminology update, it still needs to be applied. But I want uh, to merge this one first. Can, can you drop a link into the, the meeting notes with the link to that pull request? Okay, I will uh, do it uh, after I stop screen sharing. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, thank you very much, Oleg. Yeah, any questions before I stop screen sharing that? Nothing for me. Mm -hmm. yeah, and again, if somebody has items, for example, uh, I know that there is a script security um, uh, interface rework. Uh, I was thinking about adding it to there, but if you have uh, other examples of such important features for users, we can add them here as well. So any contributions and suggestions are welcome. And if you don't want to code, just drop it in the mailing list uh, linked from the job so that uh, I will incorporate uh, that on my own in my future pull request. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks all. Okay. Just a second here. Okay, that takes care of that item. Um, let me just make one more note. We'll remove PR. Let's see. Mark, I think you're up on deck next. Oh, just a shameless plug that the Devin Nussbaum is also on the call and um, we're planning to add symbols to the Git plugin as part of Git plugin 4.3 that will release roughly the same time. Um, we hope within a week or two of the 2.235.1 LTS, uh, it will simplify the presentation, but I'm concerned about compatibility. 
I'm comfortable testing JCAS compatibility myself, but I'm looking for people who are experienced job DSL testers or job DSL users who would be willing to explore a beta release of it. So just a shameless plug, looking for people to help. And pipeline is one of those things that I hope this will make it much easier to read, get plugins in the pipeline script context, because instead of references to classes, it will use symbolic names instead. Very nice. I do not have any cycles, unfortunately, to test this. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Uh, just a plea is a, a request is a good thing. Yes, definitely. If anybody does, jump on in. That takes us to the end of the open items discussion. Does anybody have anything else they wanted to bring up? Nothing specific. Uh, I had a generic question about pipeline plugin, uh, plugin change logs. Okay. Uh, because yeah, what I've noticed uh, that um, we have many pipeline plugins uh, which haven't migrated to GitHub releases or to change log MDs yet. And why it's important, uh, we have a recent update on the plugin side by Gavin Morgan that uh, a plugin site now displays change logs right inside the web interface. Uh, so it would be great if we were able to update uh, um, pipeline plugins to use one of the standard formats so that uh, we could source this format and display on the website. I, mean, I guess it's mostly for me, but I mean, historically, the main reason for me is that I find for my use cases, release drafter mm -hmm. is like quite annoying to look at because it uses the format like when I'm looking at change logs, I'm usually looking at historical releases, trying to track down some old bug, you know, in some release six years ago that I wish I'd never had to look at again or something. <laughs> um, but it's like when I'm using release after, right, there's like pagination and there's a ton of white space and it becomes a lot harder to compare version to version. So mm -hmm. I just kind of never really felt motivated to make the change. I mean, if it's important now for it to show up on the plugins page automatically, then, then I'm more willing to go ahead and do it just that before yeah. it was kind of, I didn't really see any benefits. Yeah, so just to clarify, if you at uh, change log MD, it's also fine. So oh, it doesn't should, uh, uh, change log MD. Okay. Because, yeah. Some plugins don't. Uh, yeah. That's the source of my confusion because some plugins still put it there on the readme page. Uh, some plugins seem uh, to still have it on, on wiki. Yeah, it was just browsing through plugins a couple of days ago when I was trying to resolve um, the basically pipeline plugins upgrade issue I hit. Do I have do we have to do something specific so that changelog MD shows up? Like for example, I looked at mm -hmm. the file workflow CPS, which has a changelog MD file, but the releases page looks to be blank on Yeah, so changelog MD is currently not supported on the plugin side, but there is a ticket for that. Uh, My approach here is that a changelog MD is pretty much standard uh, format in open source projects. So we should support it on the plugin side. Uh, and yeah, I believe that we will just do that. Uh, I'm not sure how exactly because we can, uh, well, uh, there are multiple ways to do that, including let's just uh, dump half of the dependable core so that it resolves everything for us or doing something on our own, but it's yet to be implemented. Yeah, I mean, but if it's important, I can use release drafter just <laughs> until now. Like, this is a more important reason for users to actually be able to see it in an automated way. Until now, I didn't see them as important. There's probably some plugins too, like that I don't ever really look at that mm -hmm. probably might still have their change logs on the wiki, but I don't know. Yeah, so I will uh, check my notes and uh, report issues if I hit them. But yeah, for me, keeping change log MD is perfectly fine. Uh, we will just need uh, to apply some magic to identify uh, these files. Uh, because yeah, right now we rely on metadata supplied by the update center. So we either do some magic on uh, the like, update center uh, generator side or we update maybe HPI and inject additional metadata. So it's yet to be seen. 
but yeah, change locmd in my opinion is fine. Is, has anyone tried creating an automated script to backfill release drafter with old release information from like a change log MD file? Uh, there are tools for that. Uh, so there are tools which allow migrating uh, from uh, change log MD to just GitHub releases. You don't have uh, to use release drafter for that. Uh, yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, but but I certainly haven't done that with any of the plugins that I maintain, and I haven't had any complaints about having just drawn a line in the sand where after this point I use release drafter. Is that still okay? <laughs> that I just change log change log.md records all the things that used to be in the wiki, and release drafter started at some point to record things for new. I hadn't bothered to do any transition. Is that? It, I assume that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. about. It for me, it's more a personal thing. I just want it all in one place. Got it. I see. I just okay. I just read through old change logs often enough that mm -hmm. it's just yeah. like a pet peeve. <laughs> so change log MD has a lot of benefits on its own. Uh, for example, if you do not want to rely on GitHub infrastructure, then using change log MD, it's just using Git. If you go to GitHub releases, etc., then yeah, basically your change logs are all in uh, GitHub uh, tools. So yeah, for us, we are already all in. So um, I'm a bit relaxed about that. Uh, but yeah, I understand maintainers who prefer change log MD. Okay, awesome, mm -hmm. Devin. You'll just take a look at that. Yeah, I'll make sure that at least we have change log MD for all the main plugins. Okay, awesome, thank you. Does anybody have anything else? Going once, going twice, sold. Okay, well that will conclude this meeting, short one. I will give everybody back 30 minutes uh, of their Friday. Do have a good weekend, everyone. Stay safe, stay happy, and I'll see you online. Cheers, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks, everyone.